we're about to hit 400 subscribers that's kind of crazy um what's going on youtube daily soldier tv coming back here with another freaking video yo what's up today is a special day make sure i don't lose my keys i forgot my keys you don't want to lose yourself out of the car all right guys check it out what is it like to be in the army in 2020 well, that's not really the topic of the video, but what is the topic of the video is something much more important, and it's the downsizing of the military. And yes, the military has begun its process and its idea to downsize the military, right? This ain't 2017 anymore. This is not, you know, the time when President Trump became the president and installed a new mandate to, um, you know, give the military some growth. So we're not expanding anymore. Now we're just downsizing. So that for some individuals will be a negative thing because it will be a little bit harder to come into the military. Now, what does that say for the current personnel? Uh, well, for the current personnel, what's going to happen is there's going to be a lot of cuts. A lot of people will lose their jobs. Uh, they'll be let go of the military. Of course, they will get their benefits and everything else. The separation packets will go through smooth and you know painless as possible uh but for the most part a lot of these people are not going to be the ones that want to leave so what can you do as a soldier as a brand new soldier as a brand new, as a brand new e1 as a brand new private what can you do in order to prevent yourself from being one of those soldiers who get let go in the next coming years well easily Number one thing that the military is going to start implementing these soldiers to have are military or not military, actually what these. So what the Department of Defense wants every soldier to have is a secret security clearance um, or even just a, or even just a secret uh, security clearance that for every soldier is not an optional thing anymore, especially coming up. And this is the this is the news that I'm getting from above. Uh, it's not something I'm making up. It's not something that I'm speculating. It's something that was passed down to me that every soldier now will have a security clearance. And it's very important for a soldier to have a security clearance. Um, and that's also going to dictate between MOS, uh, obviously. But another thing that, that actually was given to me as an advice from my senior NCOs was to make yourself stand out in front of peers in order for you to maintain your status as a soldier. Um, and not be let go like all the other soldiers who might be letting go. I mean, there's going to be a lot of soldiers. Uh, but this is by standing out by the means of volunteering to become a drill sergeant, volunteering to become a recruiter, volunteering to have a, some sort of broadening assignment, even deployment, stuff like that. That's honestly going to make you stand out and it's going to give you good points in order for you to stay in the military. Uh, one more thing that's probably the most important of all Um that's going to help you stay in the military if you're looking to do this for a long time, for the full 20 years, is that you got to be able to uh, continue your education. Start, you know, going into online colleges or even start finding some sort of way to continue your education. Uh, if you do that, you get a bachelor's degree that honestly looks super good on your on yourself. And it's and it's going to make you stand out in front of your peers. Not only is it going to do that, but it's also going to leave you the, the, the it's not only that, but it's also going to leave the doors open for you as a soldier to continue in investment when it comes to becoming a sergeant first class and master sergeant, command sergeant major, all that good stuff. Your the bachelor's degree is going to give you is going to be a key to success in your career. So what is what is what is this all about? Why am I making this video is because I'm letting you guys know as a soldier that the army of the decades past is not the same military. It's not the same army that's going to happen from 2020 up to 2028. The army is looking long term and it's looking into changing the military drastically, um, culturally, uh, pretty much everything. Um, we've all seen the military transition, especially if you've been long enough, you know, on this earth, if you've been, <laughs> if you're old enough, you've seen the military transition into various stages. In, you know in your perspective in your lifetime uh, from Vietnam to Desert Storm all the way up to the uh, you know Operation Iraqi Freedom Afghanistan now we're looking at a new type of warfare that's gonna happen um, and 
we have to be ready. We have to be ready to to maintain our status as outstanding soldiers. So it's going to be a lot different now, um, especially to stand out. And I'm, I'm I don't like to see good soldiers um, get cut out from the military because of funding or because of budgeting or because of downsizing. And it's happened in the past and it's going to happen again. So that's why you as a person, you as a soldier coming in, keep that mindset keep that focus that you must continue your education once you're in the military. I know it might not be important to you, but in order for you to stand out from your peers, you have to do extraordinary things. And this is, you know, this is a route that I myself am taking as well, is to continue learning, continue following, uh, and volunteering, doing sort, you know, doing a bunch of things in order for me to stand out from my peers, okay? But this is a short video. Yes, the military is downsizing, um, and, and it's part of the cycle. It, we downsize every other 10 years, it seems like. But All right, thank you guys for uh, those who have been commenting and messaging me on Instagram, even on you know this YouTube channel. Uh, you guys have been you know sparking up ideas left and right for me what to do, and, and it honestly does help. Um, so thank you, you guys. I hope this video was for you, and it and, and it was helpful. And I believe it was helpful because now you come in, you're coming into the military knowing that this title as a soldier is very precious and it can be taken away at any time for not, you know, and it can, you know, and all because, all because of downsizing. And I know that you, this may be a little daunting, a little scary, or even a little dismotivating, but don't let that be the case. Use this as a way to advance your career within your civilian side and within the military side just so you can you know be the best of the best and hopefully this does help you find a way to do that sometimes we do need something uh you know to be chasing us in order in order for us to run faster catch my drift um that was my cat card hey yo check it out i'm about to hit the gym i'm gonna make, i'm about to make some good gains i'm about to just like destroy my body right now because why because i just want to be the best soldier possible Anyways, you guys, take it easy. Like, subscribe. I know I said that before, but it means a lot to me when you do. We're about to hit 400 subscribers. That's kind of crazy. Um, and uh, I feel like, you know, I should put a lot more video content out for you guys. But sometimes it's a little bit difficult. But I, I'm trying my hardest, guys. Believe me. Let me know what you want to hear next. Let me know what you want to see next uh, coming out for me. But let me go get my PT. Um, maybe we can talk about the SCFT next time, but peace out, man. Corporal Hernandez, United States Army, signing off.